Hello and welcome to Mr. Brain's 5th grade everyday math review. In today's video we're going over lesson 5.2 which is more strategies for finding common denominators. In lesson 5.1 we talked about finding equivalent fractions. So if we had, uh, let's start with the problem, uh, 2 thirds plus 1 fifth, 2 thirds plus 1 fifth, so uh, some equivalent fractions for 2 thirds, uh, if we multiply both by 2, that would be 4 sixths. If we multiplied it by 3, that would be 6 ninths. Uh, multiplied it by 4, that would be 8 twelfths. If we multiplied it by 5, that would be 10 fifteenths. And if we multiply it by 6, that would be 12 eighteenths. Uh, so if we do the same thing for 1 fifth, that would be uh, 2 tenths. Then 1 fifth times th uh, 3 over 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 5 times 3 is 15. And um, I don't have to go any further than that because 15 and 15 gives us a common denominator. So 2 thirds is the same as 10 fifteenths. It is equivalent to 10 fifteenths. And 1 fifth is equivalent to 3 fifteenths. 3 fifteenths. So now if I add those together, uh, 10 fifteenths plus 3, 3 fifteenths gives me 13 fifteenths. So one strategy for finding uh, common denominators is to make equivalent fractions and then find a pair of fractions that have a common denominator. So we'll say that's strategy one. Okay, strategy two, a second strategy is called the quick common denominator strategy. The quick common denominator strategy. So for this strategy, uh, let's start with two thirds again. And this time we're gonna go two thirds times, or excuse me, not times, two thirds plus five ninths. Two thirds plus five ninths. All right, for this strategy, for the quick common denominator strategy, uh, maybe I should label these real quick. So this would be equivalent fractions. And we're going to say quick common denominator. For the quick common denominator, uh, we are just going to take uh, each fraction and multiply it by the denominator of the other fraction. So for two thirds, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by nine. So that will give us uh, two times nine is 18. Three times nine is 27. Then for our bottom one, we're going to multiply it by the, um, by the other denominator, 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. 9 times 3 is 27. Now we can add those together. 18 27 plus 15 27 is 33 27 you notice this is an improper fraction. Uh, you can go ahead and leave it that way, or if you like, you can turn it into a, a mixed number. In this case, that's going to be 1 and 6 27ths. You can leave it there, or if you'd like, you can even take it a step further, um, and then that is going to be 1 and 2 ninths. 1 and 2 ninths. Then for our final strategy, uh, the final strategy is the least common multiple. And this is not one that 
all of your teachers will use, but it is one that I like to talk about in my classroom. And for this one, we're going to use um, problem seven ninths plus seven ninths plus two thirds yet again. And for this one, we're going to find multiples of each denominator. So we're going to find the multiples of 9, uh, 9, 18, 27, and I'm going to stop there for now. And I'm also going to find the multiples of 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12. And I can stop there because 9 is going to be um, my least common multiple. And I'm going to use those for I'm going to use those for my new denominator. So when I add these together, we're going to use nine as the denominator. Now I need to make this an equivalent fraction to our original fraction. So for our first one, seven ninths, nine and nine is the same. So 9 times 1 is 9, so I have to do 7 times 1, which is 7. For our bottom number, 3 times 3 is 9, so 3 times 3 is 9. If I do 3 times this 3, I, actually, I also have to do 3 times 2, and um, so 2 times 3 is 6. When I add those together, 7 ninths plus 6 ninths, that gives me uh, 13 ninths. Again, I can leave it there, or I can turn it into a mixed number. In that's, this case, it's going to be 1 and 4 ninths. Again, there are, these are a lot of strategies. I know I went through them quickly. It's meant to be a reminder or a review of what you've already learned in class. And let's move on to the practice. So for the practice for today, it's, we've got some division. And it's going to be 2,796 divided by 23 for our first example, 23. And so we start with divide and we multiply. After that, we subtract. Then we, um, then we compare. After that, we bring down. And then from there, we go to our remainder. Either remainder or repeat. So for my first step of division, I'm going to see how many groups of 23 I can get from 2. And I can't make any groups of 23 from 2. Because I started with a 0, now I'm going to look at 27. And I can get one group of 23 from 27. So that's my dividing. After I divide, I take the number that I, that I got, and I'm going to multiply it by the, the divisor. So 1 times 23 is 23. My next step is to subtract 27, subtract 23 is 4. To compare, I'm making sure that this number is smaller than the divisor, and it is. So next, I bring down the next number. So in this case, it's a 9. Uh, since I brought down, I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process. My mouth is getting a little dry. So my next step is 49 divided by 23. I can get two 23s from 49. So my next step then is to multiply 2 times 23. And 2 times 23 is 46. And I subtract. 49 subtract 46 is 3. 
compare 3 is less than 23. So my next step is to bring down. So I'm going to bring down the 6. And I can get one group of... Got ahead of myself there. So since I brought down, um, I have to go to... Um, I have to repeat that whole process again. So now I'm going to have 36 divided by 23. And I can get one group of 23 from 36. 1 times 23 is 23. And I subtract 36 subtract 23 is 13. 13 is less than 23. There are no more numbers to bring down. And since there's no more numbers to bring down, 13 becomes my, rema my remainder. So I've got um, each digit up at the top is covered. So if I have four digits here, I need to have four digits up here. I do. My remainder is less than my divisor. And the answer to this problem is 121, remainder 13. Thanks for sticking through this long video. Make sure you ask uh, any questions if you have them. And hope to see you join us in the next video.